What's up, Chomp Down crew? If you haven't seen Captain America Civil War yet, this is my spoiler safe review. I was going to do a spoiler free review, but I couldn't really find that much to talk about without really getting into it. So, this is my review that I'm going to get into spoilers, but I will give you plenty of time to leave, I promise. Uh, so, first off, I just want to start by saying that Captain America Civil War was dope. Was dope. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this movie because it was really well put together. It's really fun. Um, it's really upbeat. Every character gets a lot of solid screen time, and if they don't, they get a really good moment to shine. So no matter who you're a fan of in the Avengers, you're going to be happy. Unless it's Hulk or Thor. They're not in it. But I'm sure you knew that because of the trailers. Anyways, the new characters are awesome. Black Panther, Spider-Man, Ant-Man gets in there, and he's pretty new to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so that's pretty fun. Uh, just everyone is really cool to see how they interact. It's kind of hard to see characters try to murder each other and joke at the same time, but I think they get a really good balance out of all of that. The storyline is pretty great, and while some of it kind of falls to place a little easy, there's enough going on in the story that it's pretty forgivable. I think Civil War may become one of my favorite MCU movies after a, another viewing, but it's too early to say, I think. But it was really, really good. There was a bit of slowness to the beginning bit. There's a kind of a lull. But Age of Ultron gave a lot of exposition really quickly and really fast-paced. And Civil War tr kind of tried to slow that up a bit. And I did like the change of pace. It was pretty solid. I feel like they could have substituted Age of Ultron for Civil War and kind of had a, a better flowing story because of how Age of Ultron really kind of hammered it on qu pretty quick. But a lot of things that happened in Age of Ultron are pretty crucial to this. So you gotta take what you can. So this movie was not a perfect movie by any standards. No real movie is perfect. Well, you know, there's a couple of really perfect movies, but but what problems this movie has are not really that damaging to the movie at all, and it's super enjoyable. If you're into superhero movies, and especially if you think that Batman vs. Superman was good, you have to see Civil War because, because at least some superhero movie knows how to give motivation to its characters. And I'm not going to compare the two in this video. I think I'm going to make a separate video comparing which one is better, Batman vs. Superman or Captain America Civil War. But I'm going to start getting into spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, I'd suggest getting out of here. But I really, really like this movie. And before you go because of spoilers, make sure you stay for the two cutscenes. Don't be fooled. There's two. And the second one is very much worth it. I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9 on the second viewing, but for now, it's an 8 out of 10 and 100% worth seeing in theaters. I didn't see it in IMAX yet, but I think I might because I think there's some scenes that might be worth seeing. So I'm definitely going to be seeing it again in theaters. Anyways, give me your thoughts before you go. So now I'm going to start getting into spoilers, alright? So you've been warned, this is spoiler talk. There were so many good bits in this movie, and I'm not going to get into every single bit, but... Real quick, I want to talk about some bits that I didn't really like from this movie. For one being the funeral, because it slowed down really hard, and the message that Peggy's niece gave to Steve was really heavy-handed, and I didn't think her last words should have been like that. It was uncomfortable. Also, I thought in the airplane scene at some points, Iron Man's suit didn't look as good as it could have, and that really surprised me. But there is a ton that this movie gets right and way more pros than cons, so let's get into those. I'm gonna start going into characters and which characters I thought had awesome parts. Um, starting off with Black Panther. Black Panther was done so well. I, I loved everything about Black Panther, especially when he wasn't in costume. He was so intimidating, damn. Those claws he had were super cool, and the speech he gave at the end I thought was really important to the story about letting your vengeance go because Vengeance literally tore apart every person in that movie eventually, and I really like that part of the end. I love the cutscene for Black Panther, and I have no clue what they're going to do for his movie. I feel like they really gave him a solid, like, origin of sorts in this, but, uh, I'm very excited to see what they come up with, and that statue was real dope. Spider-Man. 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 Oh my god. Spider-Man! I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Uh, Tobey Maguire is excellent, okay? I, I'm not gonna compare the two. Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire because Tobey Maguire played Spider-Man at a very different time in a very different set of movies than what we have in the MCU. It's really different calibers of movies. But Tom Holland, good stuff. Really good stuff. That was a damn good Spider-Man. And everyone's saying that, but 
there's so much about the Spider-Man that is really worth being in this movie. The way that he interacted with Tony Stark was really cool, first of all. The fact that they're making him an actual kid is so smart because putting this kid in the war of adults and Tony Stark has to like look out for him during the fight and that's a really cool dynamic. Him reacting to all these people that he's seen on TV, all these other costumes of people doing what he's doing essentially and the fanboys out, it's all really awesome. And that post credit scene made me wet myself. Captain America in this movie. <sighs> Captain America is a boring character in the comics. Winter Soldier did a really good job of making him not boring and giving him this new life, but Civil War was just something else. Captain America's character, I I felt so hard because there's serious moments in this movie where you have General Ross saying things like, where's Thor and Hulk? If I misplaced nuclear warheads, I'd be held accountable. There would be repercussions, and he's right. Uh, Captain America is the leader of the Avengers, and the fact that Scarlet Witch isn't trained well enough that she could literally throw an exploding man into a building and murder people, that's bad. Like, that's really bad. And, uh, as a side note, Crossbones was freaking awesome! And, like, uh, Marvel, stop killing off your bad guys! Stop killing off the cool ones! So it's really cool how both sides have a serious side to argue. Because the other side is Bucky Barnes. I didn't think that Bucky Barnes was developed well enough to be the character that he was in Winter Soldier, but at this point, he's pretty sympathetic, and you can kind of get behind the fact that he's been brainwashed and couldn't control the things that he did. But it's interesting to see the way that Bucky's government took control of him and made him do things that he didn't want to do. And Captain America is just kind of fighting off the government getting full control of the Avengers. And the Avengers could be the next Winter Soldier. The Avengers could just as easily become the UN's hitman, just like Bucky did for Hydra. There were five Winter Soldiers at the end of the movie, okay? And the whole time, I was just hoping that these five wouldn't wake up. I thought having these five villains at the end was gonna pretty much the downfall of this movie. Needless to say, they didn't awake from their cryo sleep, which was interesting. But it's also very interesting that Captain America is trying to stop this Hydra agent from activating these Winter Soldiers. And at the same time, he's trying to stop the government from treating them as a Winter Soldier. I thought that was really cool. I think that everyone in this movie had proper motivation, and that's what was really important. I think that's what Batman vs. Superman was missing, and I think that everyone really got it done here. We've seen Tony Stark's PTSD, and I love Tony Stark in this movie. This was 100% a Captain America movie, focusing on Captain America and Bucky Barnes, but the parts that Iron Man was in were pretty great, especially when Tony Stark's developing as a character. He learns that he's still killing children, and that's what he wanted to stop ever since the first Iron Man movie. I don't know why Robert Downey Jr. would ever leave Marvel because he has such an interesting and deep character in Tony Stark. And I love it. I love Scarlet Witch in this movie so much. She's so overpowered. And the way that her and Vision interact with each other is awesome. I hope they get their own spin-off movie so badly. I would love a Marvel romance movie just about them trying to learn how their powers work with each other because... Clearly, Scarlet Witch can shut that dude down. I loved Hawkeye's appearance. I loved everything about Black jumped, Widow jumped. in this movie. She had awesome action scenes. She always has awesome action scenes, but she went out of her way to be awesome. I almost forgot about how cool her shock bracelets are. And especially the way that she double agents up at the end was really cool. Falcon. I loved Falcon's bird. I loved Falcon's interaction with Bucky Barnes. I loved Falcon in this movie. I love Falcon every time I've seen him so far. I thought he was great Ant-Man. And Rhodes... We don't have to talk about what happened to Rhodes, but how it happened was so cool. And it leads me into talking about how Marvel did a really good job of making their trailers not ruin their movie. Because you clearly see Rhodes get shot down in the trailer, but you have no idea that it was friendly fire. That's awesome. Um, the other way that they did this was with the flashback to Bucky Barnes killing Tony Stark's parents. The first two times you didn't see Tony Stark's parents, and I don't know if this was an everybody sort of thing, but I knew for a fact that it was gonna be Tony Stark's parents in that car. They tricked me into second guessing myself, and I wasn't sure, and at the end, I was like, damn, I knew, but it's all come to this. It's all come to this. Vengeance starts taking everybody over. And I just loved how, even though you kind of knew how some storylines were gonna go in this movie, they really shocked you in how they delivered it. I loved it. The bad guy in this movie, Zemo, everything for him fell way too easily into place. And I'd say that's a pretty fair criticism of the movie, 
But I did think his character was really interesting. The way that we find out that that recording he's listening to is his dead family, his dead wife talking about his son waiting for him to come home, and how he forgot to call them. At first, when you think that she's alive, you think he's just out being too busy for his son, and like that's like, oh, he's a real bad guy. But then when you find out what the secret is and that they're dead, it's it's tough. Like the characterizations in this movie were just incredible. But the way that all of the emotions were swelling up in that scene where everything's falling into place and, and how could he ever know that Iron Man would decide that he could still be friends and they could they could work things out. He couldn't have known that. But the way that it's all coming together and just but the way that Tony was asking Steve if he knew, the way that he kept it down his volume into a whisper almost and the way that it built up and that whole scene was really well done even if it fell too easily into place I think that the emotions welling up were really decent and it wasn't for a dumb reason it was very justified Captain America turning and everything kicking back into fight and why did I forget to talk about Ant-Man because it's my favorite part of the movie my friends asked me what my favorite part of the movie was I wasn't really sure there were so many good action scenes so many everything when Ant-Man went giant was amazing as a marvel comic book fan probably that's why it was so amazing to me but i was hoping that this new suit would be for giant i saw in the commercials that he was going to go small so i knew it wasn't going to be just that but i was hoping he would switch the suit up and then start turning giant man oh man ant-man and the wasp is going to be more like giant man and the wasp and it's going to show the difference in their personalities with their sizes and i might have to make a whole video about that one but man that scene was awesome and that empire strikes back reference i i think that might be the king of references i love that general ross came back after um some incident he had they didn't really get too much into it but it explained why he wasn't in any of the movies i thought that was pretty clever i think that they just did a lot of things clever in this movie in general i might have more thoughts as time goes on about this movie and I'll put out more videos kind of explaining more, but this is just a general spoilery review of what I thought about the movie, and I obviously loved it. If you hit that subscribe button down below, you'll be able to hear my thoughts in a more concentrated fashion rather than me just putting all my new thoughts out there. I'm definitely going to make a Batman vs. Superman vs. Captain America Civil War video, and I'm very excited to get into so my thoughts. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to see my newer thoughts. If you disagree with me, you can let me know in the comments down below, but if you have other thoughts, other bits that you thought were awesome, let me know so that I can t talk to you about that. I'm, I'm, I'm very much about this movie. I loved it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments section. And to the Chomp Soldiers out there, you're dismissed. Thank you very much for soldiering through this video. I love you. Goodbye.